You ever wonder what buff titanium paint is all about? Well, I'm Marty Owings, and today I'm going to talk in depth about buff titanium, what it's used for, how it's manufactured, a little bit of the science behind it, and how you can incorporate this inexpensive paint into your kit and perhaps save a little money. What is buff titanium? Well, buff titanium pigment is manufactured from a raw material called rutile which is composed primarily of titanium dioxide and is the most common natural form of titanium. Rutile itself is made from ilmenite sands. Ilmenite is the main source of titanium dioxide, which is used in paints, printing, inks, fabrics, plastics, paper, sunscreen, cosmetics, and yes, even as a dye in food. During the manufacturing process, high temperature calcination and strong acid leaching render buff titanium dioxide inactive and inert. In the buff titanium process, particles of synthetic material mechanically abrade each other to form the buff titanium's unique properties. That process gives us high quality pigment, leaving only a very small percentage of iron oxide. That process is very important because that iron oxide is what gives buff titanium its slightly yellow or buff color. The material is then ground to a fine powder with particles that are larger and more irregularly shaped than typical titanium dioxide white pigment. What are some of the types of uses for buff titanium? Well, watercolor paints for one, just like the ones Daniel Smith makes. However, buff titanium is used in many industries and for many things you might not have thought of. For example, buff titanium is used in industrial coatings and in commercial paints for the automotive industry as an inexpensive primer. It's used for furniture and plastics and floor tiles and vinyl siding and many, many other products. Buff titanium is an inexpensive alternative to using pure titanium white and can easily be mixed with other colors. Additionally, buff titanium is chemically inert and non-toxic. So using it with phthalo blues, greens, Hansa yellows, oranges, and other colors adds an improved opacity to your paints and saves you money at the same time. The American Society of Testing and Materials, widely known as ASTM, rates buff titanium as a Category 1 paint, which is its highest light fastness. It's also compatible with all other pigments, making it extremely versatile. For the purposes of today's demonstration, I'm going to use a very limited palette. Thalo Blue, Sap Green, Quinacridone Burnt Orange, which is a lovely color, Quinacridone Purple, and of course the buff titanium. And you can see here while I paint the opacity that the buff titanium adds to these colors is very apparent. So even in the transparent quinacridone burnt orange, you can gain a certain amount of opacity depending on how you blend that paint. Now here, I'm going to draw a series of spheres mixing in the colors and just using the buff titanium to demonstrate not only that opacity, but how you can achieve certain gradations with the buff titanium as your base. So in, in the first one, I use the quinacridone burnt orange, and here I'm using that thalo blue, mixing it in here in a, in, a, you know, in a mixture of the buff titanium. And all of these are just a demonstration of how that buff titanium can be mixed in instead of, say, using a white base or just using the paper's base. And you can get a certain toned down mixture there. Now, I think for many artists, the use for buff titanium might be more in portraiture or landscapes, uh, but also you could use it in still life, and I think that these spheres demonstrate that. But in portraiture, you can achieve uh, different flesh tones by using that buff titanium as a base. Regardless, regardless of the ethnicity of your subject matter, I think that just adding the right tone uh, to the buff titanium could achieve the uh, skin color that you want uh, or that you're looking at painting in that portrait. So depending on how much of another color you add to achieve that skin tone. Now here I'm going to try to paint a uh, quick portrait of uh, James Gurney. He's an artist and author of Dinotopia, an illustrator. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll put a link down in the description to his YouTube channel. Uh, but James Gurney is a great teacher. I've learned a lot from him. And what I'm trying to do here is use the buff titanium with various other colors to achieve the tones I want. Now, his, uh, this photograph, he's much more pink, and I didn't want to add red, so I stuck with the limited uh, palette I have here. This will by no means be an exact replica or a photorealistic representation of Mr. Gurney. I 
Matter of fact, I left the monkey out of the picture altogether, but I'm just trying to get a uh, you know, general sense of him and try out the paint, which is the most important thing. So buff titanium, what the heck's it good for? Well, actually it's good for a lot of things. So give buff titanium a try. Uh, if you get a chance, it's really inexpensive and you can substitute it again for the more expensive titanium white and mix it with any color you want to. So there it is, buff titanium. Well, thanks for stopping by today. And if you get a chance, head over to owingsart.com. Scroll down on the page there on my, on my website. And on the right-hand side, click that little blue follow button and you'll join me on the artistic journey. And I publish over there about once, twice a month, maybe more frequently when I can. Also, you can follow me on other social media platforms such as Facebook, Owings Art, just Google me, or Instagram, and I post a lot over on Instagram. I hope to see you over there. Thanks for joining me today for a look at Buff Titanium. Have a great weekend, everybody, and happy Labor Day. This has been Marty for OwingsArt.com.